for some reason, strangers feel the need to come up to me and start talking. Doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing, somebody I don't know is gonna come up to me and say something. Earlier this, well, it was over the weekend, we were at the Philbrook Museum in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's really nice. Anyway, we're in the museum and I'm in the gift shop and this woman comes up to me and she's old, even older than me. And she says something like, which of these two do you think I ought to buy? She's holding some crap, some trinkets or something. And I said, I, you know, I really don't know. I don't know you. And she said, well, which one do you like better? And I said, personally, I don't like either one of them. She looks at me kind of devastated and walks away. And I said to Babs, you know, next time some stranger comes up to me and says something, I'm going to say, the dingo ate my baby. And maybe they'll know I'm not somebody to mess with. A few hours later, we'd gone shopping. We're in this mall. We're in this store, in this department store. And a boy, about 11, 12 years old, comes up to me. and doesn't say excuse me or hi or anything. He just says, he's holding up his shirt. And he says, do you think this shirt would look sharp on me? <laughs> and I'm like, what? And I couldn't very well say the dingo ate my baby to this kid. So I, I looked at it and it was Tattersall of all things, which white with a little gray Tattersall pattern. I'm thinking, you know, if, I didn't say this to him, but I'm thinking if, if you're like a 50 year old businessman, yeah, maybe. But I, I looked at it and I said, well, and his mom is standing behind him. And I said, well, maybe it's a little big. And he looks kind of kind of disappointed. And I said, but you know, you, you, you can grow into it. And he goes, yes, I can grow into it. I'm not sure why these things keep happening to me. I sort of feel like I look intimidating, but apparently I'm completely wrong about that.